As you come to the end of this exhibition, what have you learnt from the, this very large uh, effort to bring so many pieces of work together of international standards from all around the world? Well, I've learnt that there's a great interest in paper making and paper art and in crafts in general, I believe. So, the people in England don't really appreciate, uh, they haven't had the opportunity to see as many pieces from different cultures, different backgrounds, but all with this love of the fibre and involvement with the process. And so it's been a huge opportunity for them and they have really appreciated it, which I hope they will do. And it's been a great opportunity for my organisation, IATMA, because it was started in Switzerland 27 years ago and it's grown and still has a strong European contingent, um, quite a lot of Koreans, a few Japanese, many Americans and Australians, but not so many here, but it's growing and, and it's been a huge opportunity to show what a, a, an organisation can do. And um, it's, it's a great company to belong to. And it's been wonderful locally because we have involved several local galleries and we were able to bring this lovely installation of Titania Ginsburg's over to the Art Shop project, which was very special and was supported by her faculty. And the project itself is a community project which helps disabled people and gives them opportunities and training. And so it's helped them because the audience has increased at the gallery and other people in Norwich have been taken out there to, to go and see what's going on. And it's been a lovely circ circular tour. So it's been a fabulous paper trail. And the Washi exhibition with their very special Japanese handmade papers is a wonderful opportunity. The first time they've ever been shown in the UK and to link it with the contemporary paper artists has been great, just great. And I think it'll go on and there'll be other opportunities in the future.